Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to another Vintage Cube Drop. But first, just like the previous video, we are going to continue Kerwitz fan fiction about Mike B. We're going to read a little bit more now, and then we'll do one more after that. Hopefully, we can close this out in, in three or so readings. The following chapter is called Selling Out. So what does one do with the ability to see into the future? The same thing you do with any advantage. Get rich. As someone who did not have a lot of money, I had to start small. Being able to see what stocks will do. There's there's a couple of typos in here from Kerwitz, so you give know you. I'm just yeah. It says give give you not gives you, so I'm trying to figure out if it's given gives. Um, so if I if I if I pause for a second, it's because I'm trying to I'm trying to get through the typos. Kerwitz, the writer, not the editor. I would probably edit this myself. Let's go back. Being able to see what stocks will do gives you the chance to capitalize on things like good earnings reports. You have to be careful when doing things like this to not attract too much unwanted attention. Taking some international losses combined with bigger gains is a way to accomplish this. But this further slowed down my accumulation of wealth. <clears throat> All right, we know I can't. Sp <laughs> All right, take it easy. Uh, it wasn't. I wasn't. I was more defending my own uh, my own discretions here. Uh, I needed a way to amass capital quicker without drawing attention to myself. I did the only logical thing anyone in my position would do. I became a TV psychic. Well, not exactly. I started a psychic hotline and got an actor to be my media personality. After some TV appearances where I was in a van outside feeding my media personality visions into the future, my company's fame began to spread. The irony of most TV psychics is that they prove their ability to see the future by trying to tell you the past. Since I dealt mostly in the future, it quickly became apparent that I was a little different. I built out a hotline service using a call center of other lesser 2-bit psychics, the kind you see on street corners doing palm readings. This would not be my last experience with a call center, but we will get to that later. You might wonder if using this kind of person would lead to people feeling shortchanged, as they knew as they were exactly what the other services had to offer, but people have expectations. Also, I spent most of my days drunk monitoring my calls and feeding our operators small glimpses of their caller's future, which kept enough people having a good experience that the calls continued to flood in. All the drinking and money led to some serious partying. I would constantly have hangovers at my hang, hangers on over at my place. If you have to, if you have to drink, you might as well have company. During one of our parties, I met Bortina. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> it was a very unusual <laughs> It was a very unusual name, but I was drunk and she was pretty, so I didn't much care. We hit it off and spent a lot of time together, at least until I got to the point where I was so drunk I couldn't keep track of what was real and what was fake. I lost touch with her. As you might expect, this time in my life is not one that I remember a whole lot about, and neither was it good for my health. I realized after a few months of this that it would not be a long-term endeavor, but the sheer amount of money that I was putting in the bank kept me going for longer than I should have. Truthfully, had a very unfortunate series of events befallen me, it probably would have proved my end. The next chapter is called Rat Debt. <sighs> As you might expect, anyone determining that there is some sort of legitimacy to a psychic service, whether supernatural or not, would see the same benefit in it that I did. This led to a lot of people and organizations making regular calls asking for somewhat specific information. It became apparent to me quickly that this was happening, and I decided that these people needed to pay quite a bit more for this type of information. This is very shrewd of you. This arrangement seemed quite fine for a long time, and I did not hear any sort of rumblings <clears throat> that this was any issue. After one week where I was particularly drunk, leading me to see visions of futures that were far were too far out to be reliable, I was, <clears throat> I was one evening paid a visit by a man in a dark suit. This is ominous. I was laying in my sweat and alcohol stained bed where I spent most of my time when I was not working. I was also mostly drunk as I did not want to suffer the repercussions of sobering up. It was probably because of my drunken state that I did not realize the oddity of the large pack of rats that attended to the man in the dark suit. Hello Mike. It also did not strike me as odd that he knew my name, though it should have, as I spent quite a bit of energy trying to hide myself from the general public. I bet you're wondering who I am, or perhaps you are too drunk to care. We know quite a bit about you and your ability. Oh, uh, what? Well, I'm not sure exactly what I said, but I'm sure it was unintelligible as my brain was still in the process of forming a coherent sentence. You see, my associates and I have been using your services for some time now. It was at this point that I became aware of the rats. The rats? 
I asked in the middle of his sentence, interrupting him seeming seemed to annoy him. And the rats all started chittering. Yes, Mike, the rats. At this point, he made some chittering noises while directing his attention to the rats on the ground. He then waited for a second while the rats made more chittering noises and turned his attention back to me. You listen till I ask you a question, then you talk. You see, Mike, we have been using your advice to earn some money, but some advice you gave us recently turned out to be less than visionary. We are not happy. So what would you like to do about this? <clears throat> do you work for the rats or do they work for you? I could tell he was not happy about this question as he quickly covered the space from the entrance to where I was lying on my bed and punched me square in the face. <laughs> oh, my apologies. Let me be clearer. After I ask a question, when it is your turn to speak, you answer the question. Since you have already paid the price for this out-of-turn question, I work for these gentlemen you see around me. Now then, your turn to answer my question. I didn't have anything to say. He waited a few minutes and then started talking. Well, let me tell you what it's going to be. We are taking your business and your money. How will, you, how, how will you run the business if you can't see the future? It seemed like a legitimate flaw in their plan, to be fair. They could have just run it like a normal scam psychic operation. That's part of the business. We are taking that too. He said this in a very matter of fact. He said this is very matter of fact, but I was not aware that this was even an option. Uh, unless they were planning on forcing me to work for them. You look confused. Are you going to keep me chained up? I was starting to get worried. No, we don't have any interest in you. We're just taking the power. How does that work? Before I could finish my sentence again, he punched me in the face again, and I was knocked out cold. Thank you. The next chapter. Starting over. I woke up sometime later in an alley somewhere. I'm not exactly sure when, or even if this was the same day. I didn't really keep track of what day it was before this. I would have to start keeping track. It was not realistic that I would be getting my company or my cash back, as we had previously discussed. There were some less than savory business taking place with my company, and it was probably best not to call attention to it. Time to start over. I would also realize that they had taken my ability to see the future. I was a common bober now. This was in some ways a relief. Being able to constantly see what may be coming was not good for my health. Finding a new job and place to live was not the easiest task. I had no money, and I had no marketable job skills. I also couldn't go around telling people that I had run a psychic hotline, as that would just open me up to questions I didn't want to answer. Enemies MTGO, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate it during this, uh, this mic uh, fanfic we're doing here. <laughs> After a few days spent out back at the, of Hungry Howie's, <laughs> I woke up and found another Bortina. I, found, I woke up and found Bortina staring down at me. It was perhaps one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. She was one of the few women I had gotten close to, even in this very brief time that we had spent together. And having her see me in such a state, I tried to look away. What happened? Are you okay? Her voice sounded of genuine concern, which was reassuring. I had expected it to have an air of derision. I don't know. I wasn't sure what to tell her. I certainly couldn't tell her I'm a psych about that my psychic abilities had been stolen by a pack of mob rats. Clearly, that would be ridiculous. How long have you been here? I think she was expecting the answer to this question to be in, a, in the hour range. Three, four days, probably? The answer clearly shocked her. Do you not have anywhere to live? I... I couldn't finish the sentence. You're coming with me. You can sleep on my couch. Even though the thought of this was painful to me, sleeping in the alley was more painful. So I went with her. Her place was small, but it was much better than the alley. It had heat and a bathroom, unlike the alley. There was also a distinct difference in the number of judgmental eyes staring at me before every person that walked by the alley eyed me, wondering what I had done to deserve such a horrible life. Now there was just one set of eyes, and while she probably did not harbor the judgmental feelings that I perceived she did, it did not lessen my experience. Bortina left for work every day, which left me time to sit and contemplate. After a few days of quiet, I decided to get a job. I went to the hungry Howies I had been sleeping behind and asked for a job. The manager recognized me and for some reason gave me a job. I had started again. <laughs> <coughs> this is so long. <laughs> it's really long. All right, we're going to do one more for this one. It's called A Hungry Chap. The next chapter, A Hungry Chap. Working at a pizza store is certainly not glamorous, but it was a good job. The people I worked with were fun to be around, and that is one of the best things that you can ask for out of a job. There wasn't much of an opportunity for what you might call a career at this stage, though. I was not looking for that. One day, a man entered the store... 
I'm having a hard time thinking of words to describe this glorious individual. He had a jaw so square, I'm pretty sure I caught a glimpse of the 70s checking him out from the corner of my eye. His teeth, which I'm pretty sure were stolen from a dental catalog, gleamed and were full, on full display behind a million dollar smile. He was dressed in business casual with a fitted shirt and some well-tailored pants. I was working the cash register and he approached me and asked for plain pizza. This confused me. How could someone so magnetic eat something so plain? You don't seem to like a, you don't seem like a plain pizza kind of man. We have a delicious meat blasted pizza with a meat stuffed <laughs> crust. <laughs> Look at that meat blasted pizza. I'm not sure how someone how how <laughs> I'm not sure how I got this out of my mouth as I was a little starstruck. Ha <laughs> ha, his laugh was like a caricature of a cheesy old timey movie. You make a fine pitch. I'll have your meat pizza. <laughs> Oh, this is fantastic. I'll have your meat pizza. At this point, his smile widened, which I'm not sure that was possible. He reached out to shake my hand. My name is Howie. Hungry Howie. <laughs> oh, <Holy shit. laughs> oh, shit. What a twist. At this point, my je- <laughs> my name is Howie. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. At this point, my jaw dropped. I had heard that Mr. Howie, Admiral Agbar, <laughs> thank you so much for the reason. I really appreciate, it, buddy. At this point, my jaw dropped. I had heard that Mr. Howie visited some of the stores, but I didn't really have a good idea of how likely this was. I like your moxie. You're oh working God. for me now. <laughs> and <it's... laughs> I like your moxie. Uh, I like your moxie, oh kid. Oh, my God. You're working for me now. And with that, I joined Hungry's team. His first name is actually Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just composed myself. <sighs> okay, we're doing it. This was a far better job as you would as you would expect. I traveled with them a lot. We would regularly visit other stores. I also now had money to travel some, which was great because Bortina liked to travel. Did I mention that we were dating? The next chapter is Florida Man, which we'll get to in the next video. Keep keep tuning in, guys. Keep tuning in. <laughs> I still, on a whole, have no idea what this is about. <laughs> it's about you, man. It's about you. Wow. What an incredible story. What a time to be alive. I'll probably cut all these out and uh, and also post and upload a, a video of just these. Because, my God. Holy shit. The name is Howie. Hungry Howie? <laughs> Jesus. Holy smokes, man. Come on, dude. Oh my god. It's the Mike B biopic. Wow. Wait till the movie comes out, guys. That's going to be insane. Did I mention we were dating? Wow. I'm dude, my brain hurts from First I was laughing at that woman getting spun around for like 35 years. And then I was laughing at uh this Hungry Howie. The name is Hungry. The name is Howie. Hungry Howie. His name was really Hungry. Don't surprise me, no one. Whew. I'm actually glad this cue's taking just a couple seconds longer because I really want to have time to not oh, die. Sorry. Yeah. You want, you want your first pick here? I guess. I hope it's an ancestral recall. There, are we doing a stip or no? Uh, let's see if we can do the the land destruction stip from from Crutch Junior. If we can't though, if we don't open the the right pieces. I was really interested in that Heidi stip. Where you take all the lands? If you want to do one more after this, we can do that next. 
Okay. Because he said he gets off at 6, so he wanted to be here for it. So I think that'd probably be better. <clears throat> that Facebook video, you need to listen to this under it. Uh, is that just dead or alive? What's, what's this? Oh, the you spin me right round. You spin me right round, spin me right round. Yeah, that's that's a great song. That's a great. Let me uh, let me think about this for a while. All right, let me know what you decide. <laughs> okay, take the mock shit. Today, Junior. That's a good pick, man. I really I approve. What's our pick here? How about sneak attack? We haven't sneak. We haven't snuck attack in a while. It's probably the most powerful card in the pack. Agreed. So sure. Okay. These have been easy ones. Wow, man, my head is like, my head is bumping right now because I could not stop laughing. That's unbelievable. Greetings from Hawaii. Wait, you're in Hawaii? I was in Hawaii once. Oh my god, my brain is destroyed. Um, demonic tutor seems good. Like yeah, it. that's a very powerful card. That's a powerful magic. We've the taken Gathering Mox card. Jet, Sneak Attack, and Demonic Tutor. This is pretty spicy. <sighs> battle Ball? Yeah, I think it's probably Battle Ball with Sneak Attack. You went from spinning Grandma to the Life and Times of Mutual Burbobbly Boo. It is a lot to take in, you're right. <coughs> yeah, we got that demo now. I'm going to take the Battle Sphere. It's not great with sneak attack. No. 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 Could just take, take the devil, yeah. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. We could just be blue black uh blue black bobers. Black red bobers, not blue black bobers. Different kinds of bobers. Ooh man. How you doing over there? You got your sweet shades on? Well you said you wanted to do another one after this, but I don't know if we have time. Oh, see look, this is what you're gonna this is how you're gonna this is what you do. <laughs> this is what you do. Do 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 do. This is what you do. Do 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 do. You remember that song? You remember that song? No, I only just sang it, but I have no idea about it. Well, you should learn. Emrakul one time. Give me that good Emrakul. Give me that good, good Emrakul. Really I, anything with Annihilator 4 will do. Uh, yeah, I'll take any any of those fat idiots. What else is good to sneak attack into play? Turtles. Tys <laughs> yes. Turtles. Well, nothing here. Colgon's command I like. Liliana could be good if we start to reanimate things. We sacrifice it so I can just get it back. Yeah, command, command is pretty good. Yeah, I like Colligan's command actually. Do people wear glasses like this? I think they do. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. They totally do wear glasses like that. Oh, man. What's wrong with them? I like Taiga. I also like Assassin's Trophy. Taiga. I like Terminate. Liliana could be decent if we are reanimating. But yeah, I think I'd take the Liliana. Over the terms? Yeah. The terms and conditions? I like a light at the stage. Sure. Faithless Looting. Oh, Faithless Looting is probably better. Yeah, I do like Faithless Looting. Also, Young Peasy could be no, very good. Young Peasy deck. Well, we got three We got three already. It doesn't appeasy me for the Peasy. Wow. Whatever that means. Good, good markup. Yeah, that's that. Uh, you're getting that good, good markup. Oh, Black Cleave Clips. Yeah, or Karn. I feel like Karn's kind of mad in this cube. How dare you? Did you ever talk bad about your Lord and Savior? I'll just take... Actually, I think it's a Languish deck. 
I like chicken. I like chicken. <laughs> it tastes so good to me. What's the pick here? Oh yeah, there you go. Get it, get down. Pack rat, sure. Oh, look at these black and red cards. I feel like we're in the right colors no at least. Cough. You like no. cough here? Oh, yeah. Interesting. Wow, that's how I actually feel like I got to pick this. That's interesting. <clears throat> I feel like we'd have enough mountains to support a cough. You're a mountain to support a cough. Good one. Thank you. Nailed it. Mm. Interesting. Entomb is probably the best card in the pack. <clears throat> probably. We could also Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. What do you think? I think we Entomb. Yeah, I think we can Entomb here. It's too long to clip. Yeah, it's like 10 minutes long. <coughs> Hey, buddy, what are you doing over there? Are you scratching your leg? Scratching my toe. And it just hurts. You got a toe itch? Yeah. <laughs> what a weird. Ravenous Choops? Sure. That's the best of his kind. It's the best of his kind. Because it kills anything. It's the best of his kind. Wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> you know that song? <clears throat> no, man. I only just referenced it, but I don't know it. This coffee is mediocre, but I don't care. Where's our fatty at? That's need that fatty daddy. What about Treston? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say I need that fatty daddy? Yeah. <laughs> I need that fatty daddy so we can give that salami to your mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord, man. I, it's probably the best card in the pack for sure. This is less exciting, because if we're sneak attacking, I'd rather be sneak attacking this. I want a card that's good with just putting into the battlefield, and also good with, uh... Salami for your mommy. Jesus. <laughs> and also good at reanimating, so... Balance? I actually like Skull Clamp because we have Ophiomancer. That's like a lot of cards. Yeah, I think... It, and we could get, like, Bitter Blossom or something, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll Skull Clamp here. That's like a lot of cards. Should we play this in the main deck? Maybe. Okay. What about Shrine of Burning Rage? It's always tempting because it can just deal like 15 damage to them out of nowhere. Actually, Brutality and Lightning Bolt are both pretty good. What do you think of... Uh... Brutality is just like a better Lightning Bolt, right? Well, yeah, and it also... You can make them... You can discard cards, which is super nice. Right. <coughs> Hypnotic Spectre, I guess? Sure. These picks have not been super exciting. I mean, I think our deck is... <clears throat> it's decent, but it's not like... I don't think Maybe we're over... Fat boys. Bitter Blossom's in the first pack? Well, I guess we're not getting that. Ooh, I like a Chandra. Yeah, I agree with that. That's a good card. Can we just get that Emrakul one time? Is that too much time? Am I asking too much? I'll take any Eldrazi. Any one? Yeah. Oh. Goblin guy, get there. I'd rather take student one. Do Sneezy Mike proud. He does love a goblin guide. I guess it's just Manamorphose. Actually, Fire Blast could just, could just nug him. We could just get that, that four nug. <coughs> we could opt into aggressive black red. I don't think we got the pieces. We passed that goblin guide. That's why Emrahula. Wow. What? How come you didn't go Hulamog? I don't hate Watery Grave, I guess. What has it done for me lately? <laughs> Stoneforge or Firebolt? Probably Firebolt, right? I guess so. 
Stone Forge is better if we open like a sword, I guess. We don't have any fixing though. Yeah, I'm actually I'm just gonna take a firebolt. I don't even care. Hellrider. Roller Shrigma? Yeah. Really? Yeah. We're not gonna be playing this. Why not? It's just a 3 3 for 4 in this I don't think deck. our sneak attack deck's working out. I think we have the switch. I don't think you're right. We have a whole other pack. Yeah, one pack? Yeah. It's Un Paco. Yeah. Look at all these. Probably play look at all these red cards. Carrot Keep, bro. Who? Carrot Keep, bro. Who? Carrot Keep. Who? The keeper of the carrots. Who? You ever heard an owl before? No. Who? If I've never heard it before, what is that sound going to do for me? Who? Kijikums, McJikums. I like Kikijiki. What if we sneak attack in Terastodon and then we Kikijiki it? That would be gas. We just blow up everything. I think it's probably the best card in this pack. Yeah. Sure. And Dark Petition could come back, but... We also have Watery Grave, so if we get, like, a Fetch Land and Shell a Deceiver Exarch, we can, like... We can do it. Is the first one gone? So wake up, wake up, wake up. This is Bone Thugs in Harmony? Yes. It's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Hey man, you mind if I show your credit card on stream? I do. I do actually mind <laughs> that. I appreciate you asking though. That's really... There's a wildfire. I don't know if we're really a wildfire deck. Grave Titan just seems great. Oh, Grave Titan's good. I didn't see that. Now you did. I can see clearly now the Titans here. Hmm. I can see all Michael B's in my way. Hey man, what do you think they're gonna announce at oh baby? Oh, boy. Oh, baby McGravy. Oh, baby McGravy. What about Svortex? Get him. Svortex? Yeah, Sulfuric Vortex. Look at my Svortex. What do you think about, uh, what do you think they're gonna, what do you think Bethesda's gonna announce at E3 this year? More Skyrim stuff? I mean, the next game that's not Skyrim called? Elder Scrolls is the word I'm looking for. Is it Starfield? What's the name of that game? Starfield? Starfield is also a thing they're probably gonna. I just wanna take this, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. Why? What else is we gonna take? Sulfuric vortex. I don't. I don't care about that. That'll kill them. They'll be dead. We put we in shrine. We vortex. put in vortex. We put in ninja lady. Ninja lady. The one with uh, whatever that mechanics called. Vortex is terrible in this deck. We have a watery grave. All we need is a couple more blue manas. Are you gonna sneak that in? Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Take the stupid Hellkite. Yes, 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 yes. Big stupid Hellkite. No, go for the throat? No. You're going to have a bunch of removal. What, like a fiery... Con and a Jitte? Confluence just kills people, though. It does just kill people. Yeah, we're black, red, aggressive now. It's a late ancient, ancient tomb. tomb. That's pretty late. Grixis! <coughs> Yeah, one blue duel. Take it. <laughs> I got a watery grave. I'm good to go. It's a really late ancient tomb. I don't know if it's that great for us, though. We're pretty color intensive. Like you just never cast a bedevil off of it. Yeah, but it does help cast a like turn four hell kite, which is pretty cool. Yeah, maybe we take it. Could just take wandering funeral. Sure. I don't know what that does, but like we could take lightning strike and maybe Probably the sulfuric vortex comes back. Sure, chain lightning. Sure. Oh, Gonti and Doretti. Interesting. I like Gonti better. I do too. <laughs> Doretti's ability is pretty good, though. It's not. I. It's very good. It takes a turn to kill something. Not if you got an artifact, you can sack. Oh, it also makes one ones for skull clamp though. Hmm. Yeah, forgot about that. That's, that's the selling point. Oh, I was hoping this would come back, so that's pretty cool. Oh, wildfire came back. If we had more than just Rakdos, Signet, and Moxjet, I'd definitely consider taking Wildfire. I don't think we're a Wildfire deck. I'll take Mastermind's acquisition, I guess. We should not be in this cube. I don't know if we're in. I don't know if we're Kiki Jiki in. I don't think we're in Tuming.
Like brutality, I don't care about. You just boarding all the, all the burn. No, the burn. And by board in, I mean just put in the deck. Oh, the, the vortex came back. Nice. That's actually pretty good for us. That kind of changes the direction. I'm kind of tempted to just take out these two, and the sneak attack because I don't think it's great here. And then we can add in the char and like fire blast, and then we're just like a, we are kind of a Bernie deck. Bernie. A Bernie. Bur Eh, go for the throat, sure. I think we're at two picks, so I might have to be real quick here. Two picks, be real quick. <laughs> also, like a one black red dual land. I'm glad we took the black cleave cliffs when we had a chance. I can see all Michael B's in my way. Siege Gang or... Definitely Siege Gang. Yeah, it's probably better than Kiki Jiki here, actually. <clears throat> Alright, this is the pack where we gotta really look fast. Okay. Okay, look, six, five. Now we actually have time to take this. That's interesting. That's really weird. I guess they just fixed it in the... In the in between the last two drafts. Take Faithless Leaving out, I guess. Because yes. we're not utilizing the graveyard anymore. The ready, Kuligons, Bedevil, like all those. Do we have any burn we're not playing? Shrine seems actually decent here. Yeah, Shrine seems nuts. Shriek Maw we can probably let go of. I don't know how many creatures we want to cut, though. We can take Go for the Throat out. Sure. Because we have Shriek Maw and Chupacabra and Bedevil. Sure. Okay. And Duretti kills things, too. Yeah, all right. You got it. Uh, Probably Kiki Jiki. I'm going to copy Steeds. I guess it's not that great. It's just like if we already have like a Rekindling Phoenix or a Thunder My Hellcat on board, we're probably doing fine. Could take out Firebolt, but it's still like four damage. It kills the early dudes. I can see boarding in Firebolt, though. What about Firebolt Kiki Jiki as the cuts? I think this looks good. Sure. How much burn do we have? This guy's kind of like burn. This guy burns things. She deals two. That's burn, burn. You deal two, you deal damage, you deal damage. It's a good amount of just facial facial burnage. Eight and seven. Perfect. Should we play Swiss here? I think it's too, it's too low impact, I think. Oh, this is, yeah, 16 lands and up. Yep, that's perfect. Nine nine. Man, second second pick sneak attack just goes to waste. Yeah, sometimes you just don't draw the fatties. Sometimes you don't draw the fatties. Correct though. Correcto McMecto. Playing pack route without man in dark suit. Bold move. Wow. That's a throwback to your life story. Your fanfic life story. Do you remember that one? No. You don't remember the man with the rat, the pack, the rat man? Mm. Wow. I know you're trying to forget because it hurts. Wait, are we... Never mind. We're good. Are you drunk? Do you need Jesus? You know, I always want to play 16 land decks. We got 16 lands and a Mox Jet. That's 17 lands, basically. Is it? We got Skull Clamp. Along with Duretti and Ophiomancer. We can, we can kill our snakes every day. Don't forget. Kill snakes every kill day. Kill snakes every day. That's right. Did you pay your rat debt? Never. Wow. I feel like that's worse for you, buddy. I don't love it. It's missing mountains. It's true. 
It's also a little slow. Yeah. I'm going to ship it. I think we can do better. Yeah. Bottom you. Can we top deck a Mox Jet? That would be uh, a little chef's kiss. Chefy McKissy. Chefy McKissy. And if you guys are looking to update your wardrobe, definitely check out uh, MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping. And uh, it's a great deal. They're super comfortable. Oof. Yeah, that's a new fall, right? MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. They also have Star Wars up right now, which is pretty sweet. Oof. Guess I should have kept the Shriek Maw. Oh, they've drawn two extra cards, so that's good. They were on the draw and we mulligan, so they've actually, they're four up on us. That's a lot. Can't play. Hopefully they don't kill us faster than we kill them. They will. I can see all Michael B's in my... Well, this is not looking good. I guess we're going to bring in Languish. They're just the better version of our deck. Will me undies take my used undies as a donation? No, they will not. No one will actually do that. That is not a thing that any company does. Okay. You feel good about this? I think we're dead. Did you try? No. Hoisted by our own sulfuric petard. I don't think that would have really mattered. Could still be dead. Maybe. Collector Brutality seems okay here. So does Gopher. Did we not get Languish? No. That's weird. I thought we took the Languish. I thought I was like, this seems like a Languish deck. And then we took something else. Oh, that's terrible, Michael. Probably cut Firebolt. We, it's in the sideboard. Fire Blast, I mean. <laughs> okay. I was like, what are you talking about, man? It's right here. Maybe Char, too. Sure. Maybe Sulfuric Vortex. Yeah. I don't want to be racing. They're way more aggressive than we are. You ain't kitten. You gotta be cutting beef. There we go. Now we're talking. We could turn one to Monty Tutor for Skull Clamp and then play Ophiomance around two. Seems decent. Sneak Attack looks amazing in our deck. What what are we sneaking into play? I don't think I don't think Sneak Attack looks that great here. Like I'd rather just cast our spells. Um, Skull Clampo. I mean, if we have four mana and then one mana to activate, so presumably five mana, I'd rather just cast Siege Gang Commander. I'd rather just cast Grave Titan. There's a Lotus. The old Library of Alexandria Lotus deck. Here we go. Here we go. That's good. That is a good one. It's uh, pretty good. Well, goodbye, Ophiomancer. We had a good run. No blocks. Oh, 
probably didn't do anything. They played a Zergo Bell Striker. You can strike my bell. Strike my bell. You like that jam? It's all right. Buddy, I know you do. Don't even lie about it. It's okay. And I think we just pass here. I don't really want to chain lighting any of these things. I should have actually, uh, we should have kept up a devil. I was thinking I was going to do this, and if they wanted to throw it back at me, we could pay for it. But we could just use double red instead to keep up a devil. But I'm not, like, super, con I'm not going to kill either of these. Yeah, that's fine. pretty good pretty sure we should get rid of the snake to draw two cards and draw two cards mm -hmm. this is how we draw Swap lamp our snake oh really yeah you want to hit a land i just want more options and the snake's not really doing much for us isn't he though they're like i'll kill it in response I like Kolagon's command, kill the sword, get Ophiomancer back. Seems decent. Well, I probably just want to kill that guy now. One, two, three, one, two, three. Back in three minutes. No prob. Well, we're going to destroy an artifact. Return a creature, destroy an artifact. Get back this guy and this thing. Okay, my brain damage is really screwing up me today. Did you say tonight or t tomorrow is Commander? We'll do Commander tomorrow night after Mike gets back from his, his parents' house. After he gets his little Caesar salad made. I don't think there'll be any Caesar salad. Well, that's messed up. It's unfortunate. Dan's, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Hey, Frank, hey, Mike, hold on. Going under a tunnel. Oh, man. That's a solid meme right there. <laughs> Me and Elk Tears did some some streaming yesterday. We did, like, three drafts because I I, uh, I called him in through Discord. Ah, gotcha. And he kept doing this. Hold on, I can't hear you. You're breaking up. I'm going through a tunnel. He did this going through a tunnel bit like 14 times, I think. Sounds about Elk he's Tears. A real, he's a real character. Will there be hungry Howies, Mike? Are you, are you having hungry Howies at your parents tomorrow? Probably not. You figured if your boss is hungry Howie himself that <laughs> you could actually just get some free hungry Howies. Don't you have a corporate card? Like a corporate hungry Howies card that you can just buy? You just go into the store and like, give it to him? It doesn't work like that. Oh, he is definitely a character. I think Matt, in, in, in the past couple months like the past six months or so of getting to know matt like he's gotten on my nerves more than anyone i can think of but his heart is also in such the right place that i'm like yeah i still love you he's just he's very intense he's a very intense guy but he's just also a really good dude so it's sometimes i'm like okay i need a i need a mat break but that dude's fantastic so <laughs> off work salami on my left your mommy on my right let's do this <laughs> wow dear god our opponent said 541 it's been two minutes they have a minute left who is this matt you speak of i only know of elk mike elias mike and tunnel mike wow yeah that a lot that i think your family <laughs> what's going on matt my man matthew himself Remember, remember Elias? No, who's that? You don't remember at Elias official? No, I do. Yeah. Okay, I figured you would. Matt, do you remember that conversation in the car where we were all like, okay, we're all a little on edge here. We need to just take a break. <laughs> you like eat breadstick. But I know it's never like, the thing is I know it's never your intent. And like, I know you don't, like, that's not what you're going for, so... It's like, whatever.
I'll immediately time out that name if it shows up in chat. <laughs> oh, man. I like Elky Boy more in chat than I do on stream. For some reason, his voice is like nails on a chalkboard? Really? That's interesting. I've never, I've never heard that. I think Matt's voice is great. Mm. Eating a quick snack before baseball with my son catching the Frank show. Kadeen, what's going on? Good seeing you. What's, uh, is our opponent back yet? Okay, we, it's been four minutes. I'm gonna be like, it's been four minutes. This is ridiculous. Well, it takes too long. We just win, right? Well, we're down a game, so. Matt, this is why we should do, we should do a podcast. You and I can, uh, we can have dueling voices. I don't know what they'd be dueling over, but you you know, you get it. Guys, we're going on like we're going in like we're on like five minutes here. I feel lied to. This is ridiculous. Oh, we did it. Boom. Yeah, we could definitely cut we can talk we can call it movies and we can we have to come up with a better name than movies and magic that actually uh conveys like that a more, a more clever name. We can do we can do better than that. Just woke up on Australia. New fan watching on YouTube. Oscar, Oscar Steam up. Thank you so much for the... Wow. That was aggressive. How about Magoolies and Stagoolies? They just fire blasted and killed two mountains to get rid of the Sophiomancer? The potential card draw from the Skull Clamp is pretty sizable, I guess. I'm going to block here. I'm sorry, what? what? What did you suggest we call it? Magoolies and Stagoolies. Stagoolies? Yeah. Stacoolies. Stacoolies. Oh man, we could go Siege Gang Commander, Clamp Clamp, draw four. I feel like we're in a position that's uh quite good, as the kids would say. I feel like we just chain lightning's guy and pack rat pass. I don't care about this guy though. I like see you only siege gang here? It's alright. What if we siege gang, siege gang clamp? Oh, that's that's all. See, you just gotta show them the siege gang, and then they're like, "I'm out. I'm good." You done siege gang me up? I think we're good. Daddy needs some chicken nuggets. Are you daddy? Yeah. Do you need chicken nuggets right now? <laughs> I'm just hungry. Does someone in the chat want to order Michael some chicken nuggets? I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> You said daddy needs chicken nuggets. Daddy doesn't need them that badly. Daddy can wait. Daddy needs his nuggets. <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep, keep it. That, yeah. I don't want to get greedy here. Especially when it's a second black. Oh, look. I'll, I, I'll see your black cleave cliffs and I'll... Chicken nuggets? That's what father likes. <laughs> okay. Well, this is scary if they play anything next turn. Uh... Don't have a creature, don't have a creature, don't... That's not a creature. Oh, big chicken? All big right, chicken. next turn could be good. Done. 50 nuggets on the way. Oh, God. Jesus. Can you all start a cover duo named Frank Ocean and the Floats McToats? I mean, we could, theoretically, yes. Thank you. Villy with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oscar Steam Up, welcome, welcome. Um, I wish she made, wish she made black. Then we can actually go, shriek Ma and to kill this. I think we actually just go Chandra plus, and then kill this with. Because next turn we can actually play Grave Titan if Chandra survives. Add add some redums, kill this dudums. So like even if they attack with this, then they are they still miss the land drop even with the loot. That's interesting. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Isn't that a thing? Isn't that like a song that you used to say? Wasn't there a song that sounded like that? No, that's actually from a give song. Give me the something, something. Give me the... I don't know, man. There's some weird like... Give me the loot is from a Biggie song. No, nah, that's fake. Fake news. <laughs> this probably wins the game, right? I can't imagine Grave Titan when they're stuck on two. Doesn't... I feel like we're... 
probably better off with this deck instead of the aggressive deck, whatever this deck turned into. Like, I don't think I like Sulfuric in the main. Right? Back me up there here. There's no nuggets on the way if I can't get any mics may not have any. What is that? Mics may not have any? What does that mean? If I can't get any, Mike may not have any. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, you can order some for yourself. I'll, I'll put you on to the camera so you can eat it. I don't think you know how cameras work. I thought you had a good camera. It's not that good. You're talking about like that $70,000 camera. Peon? Yeah. What are we taking here, my dude? What are we putting in instead of this stupid sulfuric vortex? My problem with vortex is like if you're Fire not... Bolt. Are you still taking or looking for steps? Uh, if you want to, yeah, if you want to supply a stipulation, like you definitely can. We, uh, I'll be doing this tomorrow, and I could probably do maybe a couple on Thursday if it's if I get if I get early enough. Uh, collective brutes, probably firebolt. You know, like dire fleet. I have a dire fleet. Done. Nailed it. Then, then, who done? You done? Here's for your chicken nuggets. Dance, you are awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Man, you guys with your sulfuric vortex tips. I don't understand. I'll keep it. You okay with this, Dan? It's pretty good. What if we draw Mox Jet? That would make it better. What if your your dad came back? Meh. Would you rather draw Mox Jet or have your dad come back? Mox Jet. <laughs> Okay, that's hilarious. One's useful, the other one not so much. What 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 has the greater impact on your life right now? Mox Jet. Mox Jet. Wow, that's hilarious. Uh tomorrow, Thursday is actually the last day of Cube. Like it says finish your three rating vintage cube Phantom Swiss Draft League matches before the league ends on June 6, 2019. So June 6th would be Thursday, so. It says 5 p.m., but I assume that's Pacific. No, wait, if that's Pacific time. That would be 8 p.m. Eastern. So there's actually... Yeah, there's got to be a bunch of time, right? Hold on. Going through a tunnel. <laughs> I'm not sure if Dan's and Elk Tears are the same person as well. Dan's, I've seen your stream, but now I'm wondering if you're just a... If you're just a, a figment of Elk Tears' psyche. And this is really confusing now. I don't know what's real anymore. Mine says 2 p.m. Oh, it probably well, it's probably 2 p.m. Eastern, yeah. So I'm just gonna kill this. You don't get to live. Let's see. Uh, okay. Well, I assume you're not just you're just not gonna tell me. What did they get? Wait, did they? Poor K. I guess they had it in their hand. Did they fail to find? I'm not. I, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. This time. They just banishing light at our pack rat? That's aggressive. Can I get a land? <laughs> Thank you. That was really nice of them. Get your hippie boy. That is exactly what Elk Tears would say. However, if you were Elk Tears, you'd be responding to yourself a lot quicker because he types up his responses that he's going to reply with. So then he, he sends one and then he sends the other. He's kind of a maniac. <laughs> this is interesting. Shoot his bro, shoot his face. Attack shoot him. his face. Yeah, there's still a lot of things we can do here. We can also just Chupacabra this guy, which I think is probably better. So cube goes down and then modern horizons. Yes, it's gonna be sweet. What are we hitting? Let's see what we hit. Big it's wins. gonna be me. Oh, there's a batter skull. Look at that. Nice batter skull in the trash can, nerd. Nice trash old trasher skull. That's not very good. I'm sorry, guys. That was not. Oh yeah, the new the new user interface for like the lobbies and stuff comes up tomorrow, which I'm actually really excited about. I can't wait for my UI update. I'm looking forward to it so much. Oh. I mean, considering the content, it was actually a, a surprisingly nerdy statement, yeah. 
I can't wait for the user interface update on the Magic the Gathering online internet client. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, all things considered, the content of that of that statement is it's 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 next level nerd. It's pretty up there. Pretty nerdy. I don't have glasses anymore. And I can't use like cool Ray Ban sunglasses because then it's not it's not really nerdy. It doesn't work the same. I could I could use this monocle. Can you push up a monocle? No, I guess not. I guess it just kind of stays stays in place. Oh, Jesus. Well, then. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what is this? What was this? Oh, they got her with Recruiter of the Guild? Sure. <laughs> Get wrecked. Hey, sweet. Uh, hey, sweet walking ballista. Put it in the trash can. Give him that fire chicken. Oh, I'll give him the fire chicken, all right. Can we get a more high school Frank content on social media? If I could, yeah, you, I can definitely, I have a bunch of pictures that I just found the other day that I can put up there. Not going to lie, that monocle looks great. Thank you, buddy. I like to keep it fancy up in here. Also, Dan Samus totes real. I, I know she's a real person. Oh, God. I've seen her, I've seen her, uh... On the internet, you know, I've 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 witnessed her existence. There's a lot of things you can do on the internet, the tricks and mirrors. See, that's shit, true. So. You might she might be a deep. Uh, what are they called? Deep fakes. Deep fake. Yeah. yeah, she could just be a deep fake, an elk tears deep fake with like a Snapchat filter or something. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What are you doing right now? Oh, do they just have both of these in their hand, and that's what they're? I'll block with my chicken, buddy. Come at me, bro! I dare you. They didn't do it. He was like, no, I'm good, man. I think we just win the game. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten biscuits. Seven, eight, nine, ten biscuits. <laughs> That's how many biscuits I like. How many biscuits do you like, man? Seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten, ten biscuits. Uh, we can deal one to each creature, destroy the sword, and then deal two to their face. And then that wipes their whole board, essentially. I saw my girlfriend on the internet once. It's why she's my ex-girlfriend. Yikes. It's got dark real fast. I think they're conceding. Their last <laughs> card. Yikes. All right, so they have no cards in hand. They can't find can't anything. Draw extra. And they got to draw one. Yeah. Hmm. These games are going well with our mid rangey black gred fair deck. They have a lot of artifacts, and they're bringing this ancient grudge. How do you feel about that? Man, I wish we took that tiger. Okay. Then we can splash it. We don't actually have an efficient way to. It's okay. The first half will do just fine. It probably will. I agree with you. It's still just disenchant, so. Unfortunately, it doesn't kill their enchantments, which are prevalent. Could probably cut, like. I'll cut you. Maybe Shrine. I like Shrine. No, I like Shrine. I know. It's something like, uh, that was pretty good. Maybe Darkfleet Daredevil. Sure. I didn't have much. Direfleet Daredevil. It's Shatter, not Disenchant. Yeah, that's correct. Hold me closer, Tony Danza. No one's holding you any closer. You're close enough, buddy. Take it easy. You're on 3rd Street. What are you doing? Are you, just, are you are you in Morse code to the chat? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Can you never stare at me with those glasses again? You like a real, why not? Look at look, can you look? <laughs> What's the problem? Oh God, why are you so weird? If he had four life, he could. Unfortunately, you can't pay life you don't have. Oh, cause yeah, you can't you can't pay you can't pay four life if you only have three life. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> this is what father likes. Can you look into the camera and say this is what father likes? Thank you. That's what father likes. God. I'm noticeably uncomfortable. I'm gonna keep this hand. Really? This hand is shit. They're not aggressive though. And so we can like kill their first things. I'd like a smile instead of a grimace. Oh, people making requests in the chat. Hey, buddy, uh, can you smile? Hey, give me a little smile. Give me I can't give you a grimace. I don't. That's not my name. Yeah, what do you think of the purple dude from McDonald's? <laughs> you want him to give you a hamburger or two? <laughs> can you give me one of the fry guys as well? Fry guys? Yeah, Is you know the thing? fry guys. Is that a thing? Mike, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Come out and visit me. I would definitely come visit you, dude. If you can, if you can host me, I would definitely come out there. I would love a hamburger right now. Wouldn't we all? Honestly, with that shirt, he's already giving us a ham. Yeah, this is a very hamburger shirt, man. This is my favorite shirt. Okay, no one's... You don't have to... This is my favorite shirt! <laughs> okay. George is getting upset. I'm just going <laughs> to kill this. I don't know a lot of Seinfeld, but I know that one. That's a good, yeah. That's a solid, solid, solid George Sein, George Sein, George Seinfeld, George Costanza reference. Oh, Kodama's Reach. Wow. Did they actually find something this time? Yeah, they did. They got this batter skull this time. Mm. All right, which one's going into play? Forest. All right, so we got planes and bee skull in hand. This is why I brought this ancient grudge in, man. We get it, lands. Enough. I wish this was. I almost wish this was a. What are these emojis you're using after George Seinfeld? Is that the sign for female? Yeah, it's woman emoji, female sign, woman. Emo I don't understand. No, don't even bother with your germ, my dude. Your germ can get out. <laughs> Got him. Dang. I would really like. Some of these big fat idiots that we have at the top end. I'll take a Siege Gang Commander. I'll take Rekindling Phoenix. I'll take a uh, Grave Titan. Grave Titan's a good one. What is this you're doing here? Okay, that's fine. That's fine too. Not great, but it's okay. We can't do anything about it. Grave Titan. You ready? I want you to will it. Eh, okay. The chicken will be accepted. <laughs> I accept the chicken. Hopefully they don't have a path. Did you have breaky? What does that mean? What are you saying right now, Oscar? We need our gravy dad to get back from getting cigarettes from the corner store. Yeah, maybe your grave dad left too. Did you ever think about that? I often think about that. <laughs> That's what father thinks about. They didn't take any extra damage. They're at 18. What a bunch of... They're just going to swords the plowshare of this guy. Hey, there's that smile. Mm, I don't think so, man. What a ninny. You even take any extra damage to draw a card. It's like you don't even know how civil library works. Uh-oh, here we go. It's going to be a lush annoying. Ready? That would be pretty annoying. Let me get a 2-1 flyer out of it. Yeah, they go right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and they're just going to tap this. That's that's also bad. I guess if they... I guess we can just kill it if they don't they're negative not it. Minus. That'd be that's insane. interesting. Oh, that's something. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, they can't Elish Norn now, though. Vanishing Light. Well, it looks like they have an answer to our one threat, so... No, we can just... We'll, like, we'll just Lightning Strike this. Oh, yeah. Hold me closer, tiny chicken. Hold me closer, tiny chicken. Did I stutter? No, that's how I was able to repeat it. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, you have something else. You have more things that... Walking bull... Okay, well... You know what? I'll play it. I'll play it out. I'll Why? see what we draw. It's not going to answer. It's a cube. Yep, okay. That's not going to do exactly it. What okay, well, that'll do. All right. We had a good time. Did we? No. Oh, another mountain? Followed by a Duretti. Yep, okay. Followed by a bunch of horse manure. 
Good one. Good call. Do you like Liliana over Fire Blast? I think so. I think our creatures are good enough in the deck. Same thing with Mirror Battlestar. Maybe Mirror Battlestar should just be in the main deck. Yeah, if you flood out like that again, it should be. <laughs> if you're drawing that many lands, it should be. Am I right? The answer is yes, you're correct. Six million Elspeth ain't no joke. You ain't no joke. Just kidding, you're a joke. Wow. Got him. Introducing Hearthstone Masters with the Master Bundle. Are you Yay. done? This hand seems pretty good. I agree with you. Hopefully they just can't answer a pack round and they die. Oh yeah, it's like it's like six PM here, so we are definitely not close to, to breakfast time. Peanut butter breakfast time. Peanut Anytime butter. can be breakfast time. With if you believe. With what? Years work better. With years work better? Years worked better. Oh. <laughs> Anything can be breakfast time with yours work better. <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly time. I want to hear you. Want to hear me say Brecky? They got Journey to Nowhere here. They got Walking Balance. It's just literally it's just a Pack Rat Killer. Sure. Pack Rat Killer. Couldn't we just play that next turn? I would have been able to like I would have had one less guy, or I, you know I made it went and made a Pack Rat, and then he could have got two Pack Rats out of it. And what he could have played it pre land because then it's a two for one, right? I would have sacrificed two Pack Rats and for one bounce instead of one Pack Rat for a bounce. Yeah, but that, like, that's like the same situation, though. Either way, the pack rat's off the board. Right, but they're getting two cards out of it instead of one card. Yeah, but does that matter? Why the would... Real, the real big game is them to wait another turn. That way they can get a land from you. Right, and they could have... Yeah, they could have declined playing a land first. Right, that would have been the big game, not the rats. Not the rats. Oh, Rex Sage. Fascinating. Carry on my That's got to be the worst me. reclamation stage of all time. Yeah, that wasn't a good... Uh... I'll kill your 1-1 one, one defender artifact. Okay. Also, I can no longer attack because you made another one. Thank you. The Ziggs. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. All right, this is all fine. I'm going to Kodama's reach. I love reaching for Kodama. That, that is what father <laughs> likes. And you played both. Okay. So we can actually just... Are we 2-0? No, we're 1-0. 1-0! I mean, we're just going to Thunder My Hellkite here, right? Seems good. You got to Thunder My Hellkite on them... On them haters. Alright, three turn clock starts now. Three turn? Four turn. I know math. Don't even worry about it. Actually, it's way more quicker than that because we have two burden spells. Guys, it's way more quicker. Yeah, these look good. I'm a fan of these things. Well, you bought them, so I hope so. Well, I hadn't seen them. Well, actually, I did see them in person. I went to the the sneaker store. and you were, Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. What is this? Is that a Master of the Wild Hunt? Wait, they're just attacking into this? All block. Mm -hmm. All right, good times. I don't understand anything that's happening right now. Oh, buttery biscuits. Let's shoot their stupid master. Well, I was gonna shriek mod. That works too. I am afraid of Leshnorn next turn, but I mean, I thought my Hellkite survives, and then we can actually play Skull Clamp and sacrifice it to kill. I mean, they might even just be dead because they go to nine here. This would deal another three, which would put them to six, and then we could just fire and confluence them. Or these two by themselves would probably just kill them, actually. Six and three, yeah, they'd just be dead from this. I feel like we're we're doing okay here. Oh, we didn't they didn't have to do any of that stuff, we just win the game. Alright. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Take a fire blast and bring in Liliana. And I like how this deck is kind of evolving. <laughs> Kadeen, have a good afternoon, buddy. Mm, 
I think this is still a keep. I think it's all. I think it's. I think it's borderline. If we don't really need the red yet. Keep on pushing my love over the borderline. 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 No. If I'm going to lose my love. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm a huge fan of those goggles. The goggles, they do nothing. Give me red, give me red, 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 red. It's kind of a red. But they don't get to do anything next turn, which is nice. They just get to pump this and play a two drop, so it's actually okay. And if we hit another land, we can chain lightning and Ophiomancer. Wait, how would we do that? What? How would we do that? If we draw land. Can't like no feel me, sir. It's four mana. Are you drunk? What do you mean? How do you do that? <laughs> I spaced out. Sorry. Yeah, this is fine. It's really discouraging. Not only would we have four, but next turn we have double fives, which would be great. But alas. You're in the finals, so you can't really get all your mana, I guess. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Smisk, smisk, smisk. I ain't smisking nothing, you son of a Mitch. <laughs> wow, that was aggressive. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Now I definitely need to land for this Chupacabra. Yeah, no, they're going to tap our land. No, they'll never annoying. do that. They would never do that to us. Super annoying. That was rude. At least we can play it. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. So they have a forest. They have one, two, three, four, six, six, seven, eight mana. Yeah, that's a lot. It is a lot. They probably just do the now for seven and put two creatures that are in their hand into play. We're definitely bringing in Firebolt here. This matchup is Firebolt friendly and Collective Brutality. Or oh, that seems brutality yeah. or whatever collection called. brutality. Is that what the Collective rat debtors do? Brutality, I think that's what it's called. You like these 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 car bulbs? This what? These car bulbs. Was it for your car? Yeah, they're they're rear light rear tail light bulbs. Oh, you that's just cool. Keep on pushing my love over the oh no! <laughs> I mean, it's pretty annoying, but it's not actually the end of the world. No, it's, they didn't do anything. If they had a threatened board, it would be pretty scary, but they don't really do that. So, this wasteland chump. Too bad we only I mean, have one. Look, they could have actually went one, two, three, four, five. Evolve this, and then paid three, four, five. Could they have done that? They had no, one, two, three, four, five, land. six. They used five of it. Yeah, they had one and three, right? Adapt, not evolve, whatever. Magic's confusing. Adapt, evolve, same thing. You're the same thing. As? Your mom. Hmm. Got him. Did you see me get him? Yeah, oh, that's boy. That's a little more scary. That's probably going to do it. Yep, that's all I need to see. I guess they drew that? I mean, eventually, yeah, at some point they drew that. <laughs> That's how magic works, Michael. Fireball. Oh, opening hand, idiot. Collective brutality and go for the throat. Let's take out. Borderline. Let's take out borderline. It feels like I'm going. Let's take out dire fleet again. Take out char. I think it's just worse than the other ones. And I'll just submit like this. I'll just submit like this. Oh, look at this God save your mum quote. Did I did? Uh, well, God save the queen. God save your mom. <laughs> Is she in danger? Would you say? Every night. Hmm. She's in danger every night. That's because she's a prostitute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a classic. That's a good one. That's because she's a prostitute. Oh, I'm gonna mulligan this hand. And this one. All right. It's fine. I'll keep that. I think 
no matter what we do, like that's probably fine. It's every card in your deck. It is every card in your deck. Not at the same time, but you know. Oh, they didn't play anything on turn one? And I got the commander itch. You mean for tomorrow? Or uh, well that and like not this paycheck, but my next paycheck, just like bumping up and building the deck. Bumping up? But what deck? Any deck? Uh probably finishing my CDC deck. Is it not done? I mean it's done ish. It's not done ish? It's not optimal. Which is fine, I guess. You just keep on pushing my love over the borderline. Do we even need the demonic tutor? I kind of want to get a firebolt and kill this. Oh, yeah. We can also just, let's attack first. I mean, you can just lightning strike it. Right, but I'd rather save that because if they play like Master of the Wild Hunt, I want to be able to deal with that. What can they do on four, actually? Let's not find out. You should get your commander rich looked at. Go to the doctor or something. Excuse me, doctor. <laughs> yeah, but if we tutor for firebolt, we're tutoring for two bolts, which is nice. Sure. Red, 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 red. Well, that's unfortunate. Can we just discard that attack for two? Discard the land? Yeah. I'd rather discard the phoenix. Really? Well, yeah, because like the, if we draw red, we can play this. And I want to keep playing lands. I don't want to like miss land drops. But the chicken is gone forever. It's true. It is gone forever. And even if they put two lands on top, we get to play one land, discard one of these, and make another rad, so... hell is that my friend wants to know what this guy is and for once it's outside my nerd scope anyone know what this is who is oh well hold on so i can save this image okay oh all right guess not what if i just go dot jpeg can i change it no okay <laughs> fantastic i don't know why saving images in 2019 is so hard to do like it's so dumb i just want to drag it to my desktop and Feels like I'm going to lose my mind. Move that guy down there. Move you back. This is the image in case you guys on YouTube need know what this was. Gilderoy Lockhart? I don't know who that is. Did they did they, did they do anything? No, they just ate a thing. Sure. Borderline Feels like I'm going to lose my mind Good Demonic Tutor for a land here. Don't eat that. I mean, just having Thunder My Hellcat on board seems good. You also see what we can do for, for four mana. Maybe try to draw a land naturally. Or you do, don't get black leaf cliffs. We can get choops. I do like choops. Yeah, but they don't have anything on board right now. But they never will if we get choops. You don't like choops, man? Not really. Colagon's command doesn't really do anything. It gets rid of the worn power stone, but I mean, there's no other mode that I'm really super excited about. And they, all, they also get a turn to have six mana, so. I got kind of Chandra, but she, we need a red. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, I could, I'd rather just get Choops and then just like have a backup. If they play like Master of the Wild Hunt, I'd rather have an answer for it because that's okay. just going to take over the game. Four, 
For Sturmer often floods, I feel like tutoring for a land is a bad idea. Because this means, like, we have a play if we don't hit a land, and we have a play if we do hit a land. I like that better than just hitting a land. Yeah, that's obnoxious, but we can kill this. Well, I'm not attacking with these rats here. Not yet. Man, when is our next episode of Frank Thoughts? I don't even know. I haven't done that in, in a while. Mostly because I've started doing other content things, but I, w I, I am uh, considering and likely going to do a YouTube video on the Modern Horizons and uh, the London Mulligan change and all those things. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that happen, so. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Green Sun for five and a Sylvan Library. Seems good. There's gonna be a slime ball killer red. Yep. I would imagine that's probably gonna be what's happening here. Just a whisperwood. Can I get a land so I can shriek maw this? One time. Any land. Any land in the deck. Seems good. Worth noting that Black Leaf Cliffs would not have worked there. They have no cards in hand, but they do have Silver Library now. Plank Cleave Cliffs, yeah. That's a good point. So one out of 12 other cards. Oh, they took some damage? They kept two cards? Wow. I mean, I feel like we're just ratting here. Over the borderline. Card under Mike, Thunder Mike Hellkite. Oh, I can't do that. This Thunder Mike Hellkite. There you go. Now you can see it. As opposed to Shriek Mike, which is also in our hand. How about a land? Give me one of them. There we go. We did it. Let's kill this jabroni. I mean, if they have Crater Hope, we're dead. So let's just assume that they don't, because we die if they do. I yeah, hope they take two more cards. Super Ultra Mega Dead. Take two more cards. They drew two cards? Oh, no, they, that's the that's the, the Sylvan Library default ability. Yeah, they do. Okay. Yeah, they do. I don't know what he's saying right now. I'm seeing if they had eight mana. They definitely do. Yikes. So they have six mana, they can kill two things. Actually, yeah, they can only kill these guys, because pack rats are all three, so they can kill one they can kill one pack rat and then that's it. Because they only have six mana, so they can they can use five of it for this to, to monstrosity for two. Actually they can kill one thing, right? Because they have monstrosity for two. Yeah, found the lands in the deck. This guy can be blocked by artifact creatures, which is sad. We have a lot of draws here that are live, though. Borderline. Thunder my hell, guy's gonna lose my mind. 
They're at six. So Fiery Confluence is lethal. If they can't deal with Hellkite, which I don't think seven, eight, nine, ten. So they need eleven mana to actually kill this. So I guess they can if they hit a land. A lot of power. Yep, they did it. Good for them. Uh, these are just colorless creatures. You can tell because it's just this creature, not artifact creature. Okay, so that has five damage on it. So if it wants to come at me, bro, I'll just block with like Shriek Moth Chupacabra. No way he attacks. They might. It's a three for one. Nope, they didn't. Acceptable. G teats. G, -g, 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 -g teats. <laughs> Don't call him G teats. <laughs> That's his name. Mike V's dad came back. They can only find one card, and it puts them real close to dead. One, two, three. They have six creatures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight creatures. So at least two get through. So two, two, and two, two. So they take. They go to two. So if they actually draw an extra card, they're just dead. Well, unless that extra card's like Avenger of Zendikar or some bullshit, sure. or Crater Hoof Behemoth, you know, then we die. Can you please say G Teats again? G G G G Teats. <laughs> I missed the Titans in Standard. What do you think of the chance to come back? Uh, zero chance, and I and I think you might be the only person that misses them in Standard, Bill. It might be because you're a monster, but hard to say. Oh, just this guy, huh? I will chump. I will chump. Do, 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 do. Uh, they have seven, not six. Whatever, Pyro. I will chump. This is lots of mana. Do, do, do. They're probably just going to kill their own things here because obvious reasons. They killed their, their Sylvan Library? That's Over, loose. like, the Wasteland? The Wasteland is doing nothing for you. I also don't know why they didn't kill Wasteland over Forest, but... That's weird. It's actually pretty good. Well, we don't have any artifacts currently. No, we just get blockers for 9, 9, and 10, 10 every turn. Baby shark, Michael. Yeah, this is actually fine. Does it seem great here? No, it's, I think we're fine. Just pass. Wow, because now there's Sylvan Library locked. Like whatever they got off Sylvan Library is just the next two cards are the same. So it was my Exodia, you fool. <laughs> yep, there's a forest. You fool. Bigger and bigger rats. Put on a ratty face. Put on a ratty face. Mike's guys are gonna clear up. Wow, this is... This is... Beastly. Bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. They're both coming at D-Rets. I'll actually block here because we can sack this guy next turn yeah, to kill, kill one somebody, of them. Yeah. And I, we're actually de we're definitely attacking with Grave Titan with these idiots. Like if they want to trade, like <sighs> that's two elephants though. Oh my god! Please let me just draw Fiery Confluence so I can kill them. This is a lot of creatures. It's not. That's not it. We can sacrifice that to kill something. It's true. You're right. Which you should probably do. Just like nug their ten ten real quick. I mean, this guy might be scared. Yeah, I guess. I guess. See, we can block this with anybody. And killing that just makes them one ones instead of two twos. Is it better to have more rats? 
Because the rats block this pretty easily. Yeah, it's probably better to make a rat, actually. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. What happened? I targeted this. It's really annoying. I went Duretti to to sacrifice this, and then I was going to click on this, but it actually it, it made me... That's really stupid that you can't back out of that when you're still making the choices. So it like did it the other way, so it made so you... I would have sacrificed this, or I would have destroyed this. This was my target. Oh, wow. Well, that's pretty... Pretty game like it's worded you may sacrifice an artifact if you destroy target artifact so I'd be like would you like to sacrifice an artifact yes but you have to choose targets first like so it's not wrong you can sack it instead of the construct what does that mean well, yeah of course I can but I'd rather just make a rat but I'm also like they locked us in to sack to destroying this and I couldn't actually change the target so that's actually really annoying that's super high impact on this game right now too yep Another reason you play... I mean, like, th wh why does that... That doesn't really seem like it's going to... That doesn't seem like it's better in Arena. I've definitely made the mistake of putting lands into play tapped on Arena instead of untapped. I mean, that's just that's just user interface error. Like, that's not... That's not a, a, making Arena a better client than Magic Online. I mean, this prompted me, too. It said it right over here. It said it right here. I'm not blaming the client. Like, it said, it said, choose creature to destroy. I clicked on construct because I was on autopilot. Like, it's not really... I'm not trying to blame the blame the client here. It's my fault. It's just frustrating that I couldn't back out of it. And you can't back out of things on Arena, really, either, so... I wonder if we just trade with... Brave Titan here feels bad yeah they're swinging for 19 so something's got to give oh they're just go they're going it's already here oh i'm gonna do it i think it's fine you're gonna let the ready die oh my god i totally ah! i'm just messing up left and right now because i'm just getting distracted and i'm kind of tilted from that play yeah that was stupid i should have just chump blocked it's infinitely better to chump block because now we can't and this oh my god that was so bad dude I tried to help, but it was too late. Yep, that was two turns of, of incredible misplays that I just made. So if we lose this game, we have really no one to blame but ourselves here. Unfortunately. There's a lot going on. Ah, that's frustrating. Fiery Confluence, just let me kill them. Ophiomancer? Actually, that's pretty great here. Yeah, Death Touch is pretty relevant here. I mean, their board is getting pretty massive, but still. Like, they don't, they're in top deck mode, and like... They still don't have that great of attacks if they swing all out. I mean, we're still at 20, so... Yeah, I think we're, I think we're okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Like, Death Touch Rat, every or Death Touch Snake every turn is pretty good. Rashad and Port doesn't do anything, so... a hell of a stalemate here are they gonna port us i mean it makes sense to port us they have nothing else to do with the mana so yeah no reason not to really it's a rat that is a rat god if they didn't have this mere battle sphere tokens like it's unreal we could actually just get through with the shriek maw twice it's pretty hilarious well oh. What about the manifest tokens? They're not. They're colorless. They're not artifacts. Uh, ah, yeah, okay. it's weird, but a, a relevant distinction. These are rats will eventually win us a stalemate, though. So, fire confluence just one time. I'm just waiting for it. You got it. Okay. Um, so I think the M20 design was going to be finished way before they decided on the London Mulligan. So I, they can't actually... When London, when, when M20 is coming out in like a month and a half or two months or so, like they can't really add a new card to it just because they they finalized the London Mulligan rule. It's, it's just too close. The designs were already finalized. 
Come on. I'm almost at a point where I had Fiery Confluence to deal damage to all the creatures. This is ridiculous now. Remember that time we had Demonic Tutor? Man. I mean, realistically, these rats are getting huge. They're about to be seven sevens. It's pretty big. So there's seven of them. I like that you can always figure out how many you have by the number, by their power and toughness. By 12-12s? Twelve That's a lot of rats. Here comes Crater Hoof Behemoth. No. Nine mana. Oh, they're just going to green sun for Crater Hoof and kill us? No, they've changed their mind. Well, that's hard to deal with. You're right. Oh, that's really obnoxious. So I think we have like one turn now because we can't... Yeah, the Annihilator is going to get us. Yep, that makes our blocks real bad along with the 10-10 indestructible creature that we can't profitably block. Can you imagine if I just blocked with Doretti? I would just have a bunch of tokens every turn. I think that, that was game-changing. This is just better than this is a better a rat is just better than a mountain here, so it's gonna be Chandra. It's actually not terrible. What can we get back? We could get Hellkite back. Or we could get Put him to one. Grave Titan back. It puts them to one, but they also have to deal with it next turn. Charlie one, two, three, play. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, one, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. They didn't they also didn't Rashad and port us, which is interesting. Guess it doesn't matter. Return their creature is black zombie addition to other types. I mean, do we survive an attack, though, is the question? Like, I guess we could sack a bunch of lands. Yeah, we can sack lands. Actually, I think we'd be fine. Yeah, this actually might win us the game. It's going to be close. But... It taps their flyers, not their ground guys. I mean, we're at 20, though. Like, we have 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 10 blockers. And they have, what, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 creatures. So eight would get through, but like Mostly we can just one let the ones. four one ones and the four two twos get through. The five one ones, six yeah. one ones. So I think they're actually dead. Yeah, they have to attack here. Because Thunderball kills them at one. Yep. Let's get rid of Liliana. Actually, might as well leave Liliana. One, two, three, four. Let's go to blocks. Snake on Terastodon. 6-6 six, six on 3-3. Three, 1-1 three. One, one on Ulamog. 6-6 six, six on 3-3. 6-6 three, three. Six, six on 3-3. Three, 2-2 three. Two, two on 1-1. One, 3-2 one. on... 1-1, one, one, I guess. 6-6 six, six on... 2-1. 6 six on 2-2. Two, 6-6 two. Six, six on 2-2. Two, two. So we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? Seems pretty fine. Yep. I'm not missing any crazy trample damage or anything? Nope. All right. Well, that cleans up the board a little bit. What just happened? Finale of Devastation and Green Sun Zenith? Where did those come from? Don't know. Oh, those are the manifested cards. Wow, they manifested both of their search cards. That's insane. Okay, well, we get to deal a million. <laughs> Do you port now? They did not port. I guess if they have fog, they win. Which isn't in the cube. I'm I just want to sure, see how much so. pack right. Negative 45. Wow. Wow. Was that game two? 
Oh my god. Yeah. I am a broken man at this point. I thought that was game three, and I wanted to just end it. That's insane. Ink guys actually could be decent. Yeah, I think our deck's fine. You don't want to like reanimate their things, man. I mean, I do, but what are you bringing over it? What are you bringing over it? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna play it like this. I think this okay. is fine. Wow, that game was insane. Yeah, Liliana getting back Thunder my Hawkeye. It's a hell of a drug. Whatever that means. Oh man, getting a headache because I gotta listen to Mike this whole time. Just kidding. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. Boy, the rat debt is real. You see what happens when you don't pay your rat debt, Michael? <laughs> they come get you, You go you, to negative 45. This hand seems goosey. This hand is goosey. Goosey Malusi. What you got here? Oh, a little dirt burger? Fireball. I, I'm tempted to let them do their thing with this for the same reason we did last turn like because they're going to spend two to pump it so they only have access to the same two that they would have had previously and if we hit as a opposed to a collective brutality yeah I guess we could like collective and try to see if they have anything else in hand what do we pitch I don't know I like all of our cards I think we just kill it oh it's your boy Ollie Eldrazi what's going on my dude Oh, Ollie with the raid. Thank you so much, buddy. Are you doing streaming already? What time did you start today? My man. I sure our, I'm sure our format is completely different than the standard you were testing, though. So, I think we can just actually play Rakdos Signet. Started at 10. Oh, so this is like your your eight hours is up? Good lord. How you how you holding up for the eight hours a day? Because I know after like six or so hours, I'm like mentally drained, dude. Also, if they play Rafellos here, I'll just kill that. Oh, Green Sun for one. That's interesting. I was playing Bantwalkers in Modern... Oh, nice. It's fine. We're going to eight hours every day. Yeah, that's that's what I would do, too, because I'd be like, I can do eight hours every so often, but then you do it every day, and you're just like, nope, that's a lot. I think of Collective Brutality with a discard. Let us do it. Two modes. What are we making? We'll make. Uh, we'll check out their hand. Make sure they don't have any shenanigans. Uh, target opponent reels. Target this guy. What do we do? I'll discard pack right here, right? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't it be better to get rid of like Shriek Maw? Well, Shriek Maw kills things. You ever, you ever killed things before? You're a Liliana. Yeah, get rid of Liliana. I don't think that's doing anything for us anytime soon. Get rid of pack right. Really? Well, the reason it's is like, for us. yeah, but then we just reanimate with Liliana if we really, really need it. But I think this is too much. Okay, so Master Pelucranos. To, to, yeah, sure, that's fine. I don't want to get a Shriek Maw because it kills all of these idiots in their hand. I am a little worried about this deranged tournament at this point, but I guess they're going to play Pelucranos or Master, so we can kill one of those. I'm going in tonight and working 10 to 12 hours. That's a good amount of time. What if you did that every day, though? What if you did it every day? Also, if you guys are from Ollie's stream, definitely uh, definitely hit that follow button and, sh and, and check us out. We're here, too, all the time. I probably just want to bedevil this guy, right? I mean, yeah. we're, we're missing land drops, which is super fantastic. Eh, super fantastico. I say it's not fantastico. My good sir. It's true. I think he's right. It's not actually super fantastico. All right, so the forest is gone, the master is gone. We know you have Plukanos, Deranged Hermit, and one other card. I did that for three months straight. Yikes. I'd, I'd be dead. I'd be dead. It's going to be yikes for me, dog. That is a yikes for me, dog. That's a hardcore yikes for me. <laughs> nah, it wasn't fantastic. Oh, we missed land drops. That's fantastic. But it was not fantastic. All right, this guy's gone. Thankfully, Ophiomancer is a pretty good response to uh, to Deranged Tournament. Okay, we're doing it. I really don't... I just want to... I want to be able to wait one turn so I can do this, but I can't. I don't have the luxury. Nah. 
that's way too greedy. Choose this guy. All right, well, why do these scammers have to infest every time my whispers haven't blown? Oh, that's weird. That's funny because I don't get any. I think I, I turned it off. If I'm not like, I think I turned off random whispers. You guys should too because it's, I don't feel like the, the Twitch whisper service is really that beneficial. I don't see Twitch as like a service that people are like actively communicating under. Like, hey, let's, uh, you guys want to chat? Let's chat on the whisper, on the Twitch whispers. I do it every day. Do you? Who do you talk to on whisper, on Twitch whispers? I lied. <laughs> oh, I really gave that up pretty quick. I lied about that. Oh! Deal one damage to everything seems good. It seems real good. Yeah, let's do that. Let's deal two to your fosse. And one damage to each creature. Gross. Wrath of God, Nuggy for four. Feels good. Sailfish Comics, thank you so much for the research. Looking forward to playing with Horizons cards. Thank you for the... Thank you so much for the research, buddy. I am also looking forward to some Horizons cards this week. What do you got now? You have another four drop? This is ridiculous. How many four drops you got in your deck, my boy? Oh, they're getting a two drop. That's unexciting. What scavenging ooze? I bet they got scavenging ooze. So they search for a creature, and then if it's ten or more, they get to... They get to put it into... Uh, they get All the, all your creatures get plus X, plus X in haste. Okay. Rafelos. Okay. All right. Well, that's terrifying. Oh, no. This is this is great. Are you ready for the, the, the business? Oh, that's, I guess that's spicy. Give them the business. They really wanted that mana. So I'm like, mm, I don't need you to play playing Terastodons and Mere Battle Spheres and shit. <laughs> they had shit. Oh, don't even try it, you... Oh, no. Are you just going to kill your guy? Wow, that's aggressive. But without the mana, how will you... Shmana? You know? Without the mana, how will you shmana? These are the questions we ask ourselves. What's that thing you said? It was like, Bazoomi, Bazoomi, show me the Manumi. What is it? You have like... It, that was the rhyme scheme that it had. I forgot what you said, though. And that's what I was thinking of earlier when you said that thing. I can't remember the specifics. I'm sorry. It was ridiculous, though, right? Yes. Oh, that's pretty nice, too. Are they just dead? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? Like, they're just dead, right? I believe so. I don't believe the green deck has any instant speed things that really... Okay, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, okay, so we just go shoot. 1, 2... One, two, sacrifice this little gentleman. And pay two, sacrifice this little gentleman. And is that how you 3-0? Did we just 3-0 at this deck? I think we might have. This deck was fun. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, Boom. on Patreon, on manatraders.com. You can find the link and the promo code in the description. You can check me out at meundies.com slash franklaporia. Get 15% off on free shipping and free returns. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you're watching on on YouTube, do the things. I'll see you next time.